That seems structurally safe. What is up dudes? Welcome to the Dude Lair. Today we're going to be playing Tricky Towers, the newest PlayStation Plus release. Um, I don't know anything about this game, but it looks like Tetris. I know it's obviously not Tetris, but we're going to find out what it is all about. I of course have no friends, so I won't be doing a local battle. Uh, I'm not going to start with an online battle, because I don't really know what I'm doing. It l looks like a game that is meant for like couch co-op type stuff, which, like I said, have no friends. But there is some single player missions, so that's awesome. Any game that doesn't have anything for single player, that's like an immediate bummer for me. Okay, I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, okay. So we're stacking bricks. We have to get to the goal line. Also, there were some magic uh, controls there. I'm not sure what those are about, but that looks like it could be fun. Tetris was, oh shit. Don't nudge too hard. Knock your bricks over. <laughs> that's gonna be advice. When I'm a grandpa, that's gonna be the advice I give my kids. Oh no, don't nudge your bricks. Don't nudge your bricks too hard. <laughs> Sounds kind of dirty too. Don't nudge your bricks too hard. All right, let's just see what happens here. That's a huge fucking block. Ugh. Nope. Um. So you have to you have to stack it, but you gotta make it stable. This is not looking very stable. Failed. Not surprised. All right, I think I get it now. <laughs> Dudes, I don't get it now. <laughs> nah, I was just going for speed there. Sometimes you just gotta say, screw the rules. Oh man, so this is what makes it tricky. It's when these things fall, and then like the Tetris rules are insanely more difficult. Like, what? Where's my magic? I need some magic right now. Big time. Big time. Alright, this is a perfect block to have huge. Let's see what happens. Ooh, snap! Nope. You gotta hold it for three seconds, that's the tricky part. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that I'm gonna fail on this first one, too. Not cool. All right, let's keep going. Dudes, if you're still here at this point, thanks for sticking around. Sometimes you watch somebody uh, fail too many times, and you're like, what a fucking idiot. And you just, it's so easy to click that X button or that back button. <sighs> or that subscribe button. Cha -ching. Just kidding. Um, no, I think I've got it now. I, and I mean it this time. It's difficult because like it's not Tetris, but you kind of have to play it like Tetris, which I really like actually. Okay. These towers are too tricky. <laughs> that should be like a quote on the box. I think it's digital only, but if it was a box release, that'd be a quote on there. These towers are too tricky. Dude, it's Jeremy. It would be almost as bad. See, all right, I got it now. Show, show. It'd be almost as bad as when they do. What the fuck is this house? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> That's just kind of like you're, you saying I win. Um, it's almost as bad. Like they put uh, like tweets on the covers of games, as if like there's any validation to that. Some random person tweeting. You know how much people get paid to tweet? Like, I'm, I'm really screwing up by having a real job. I should have just gotten in the business of just tweeting shit. Because people make so much money doing it. And all they do is they tweet stuff like, this pasta is awesome. And then the pasta company pays them like 10 grand for that tweet. And now a bunch of you are out there and you're like, hmm. 
Why do I have a real job? <laughs> exactly. Mm. I also wish I could get a job just coming up with fun ways to reinvent Tetris because this is awesome. Even though I suck. Oh, that counts. Okay. Huh. Moving on up. Stack all bricks below the laser. That. Oh, what the f It's right there. Okay. Okay, so they make it a little bit easy for us. I saw it and I'm like, what the sh- Oh, yeah. Come on, man. This is child's play. <laughs> child's play, huh, Jeremy? Okay. I mean it this time. I'm really curious to find out what our magic does when we get to that point. Ah, see how I did it there, dudes? Nailed it. Alright, alright, alright. The same thing. Great. Ugh. Now I definitely have it this time. Show for show. Also, there's a, like, for the single player... I thought that we might do, like, some races or something, but just against, a, like, a bot. But apparently, you don't do that, unless you just don't start out doing that. Maybe they want you to get the hang of the game so you don't make stupid mistakes like I was like five seconds ago. And then they'll be like, now you play the game for real. Got it. Alright. Um, I wish it showed what level we're on because I wasn't really keeping track. I think this is... Five? I think this is five. Because we had two lasers, one dark, and one during the day. Yes. And now we're back to during the day doing this. This one, which gave me a hell of a time the first time around. But like I said, I think I'm good now. You know what else is helping me out? Uh, is that beam of light. Which is pretty cool. It shows you like exactly where the block's going to land. Ooh. Trying to trick me. Too bad I have x-ray vision. Um, I was gonna say something. I got distracted by my extra vision. No, no. All right, it's time to nut up. I only got. Did you see that thing teetering back and forth? I didn't know if I was gonna make it or not. All right. Also, this is the only game mode where I have three hearts. Um, yeah, this is like just such a cool, 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 cool. This is such a cool way to reinvent Tetris. It really is. And maybe I should quit throwing that out there because it's not Tetris. But like, look at these block shapes. It's Tetris that they changed up a little bit, a lot of it actually. Um, they put, you know, snowman wizard and, uh, like, space, space wizards. I'm not really sure what these characters are, but the one on the right definitely looks like Frosty the Wizard. Nerp. Couldn't do it. Also, uh, big fan of this soundtrack. Bringing me back to like some banjo kazooie type stuff. Dudes, if you're playing a game, uh, definitely hit me up on that PSN because I'll love to play. Uh, you know, with some friends. I do like the sound effect. You know, I'm a fan of the punch sound effect, so I like the nudging block sound effect. Uh, oh, man, I really screwed the pooch on that one. It's really dumb. I'm losing it. Watch this. Oh. Well, I punched that other brick exactly where I wanted it. <laughs> but I kept dropping the other bri bricks not where I wanted them to be. Okay. This one's for real. 
Yeah, da, da, da. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, you have so many bricks, you have to... You know what? That's what pisses me off. I can't wait till I can do that magic right there. Because if he wasn't changing my regular old bricks into windmills and mansions, I'd be golden. I'd be on the leaderboard for this game. You know what? I forgot to check ahead of time, and someone's going to leave a smart-ass comment now that I'm saying this, but... Um, the release date. I don't know what the original release date for this game was. If it's actually new, uh, I highly doubt it, but... If it is, that would be cool because that would mean that online play is bumping. It might be anyways because of the PlayStation Plus release. <sighs> I've been slacking on my PlayStation Plus games. I'm gonna be getting a lot of older ones up soon, but uh, yeah, just been really busy. I've been playing them. I've been recording them. Uh, just have. Oh my god. Giant windmill. Nailed it. What's that? What is that little spade I just got? Put my little brick house on top of a windmill. That seems structurally safe. Oh, this one. Here we go. My favorite. Very, uh. Oh, uh, wait a second. Oh. Nope. Well, that sucks. Alright. Hold on now. We're gonna get it. Duh. I was saying something a second ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been recording all the, uh... uh PlayStation Plus games, but I have like an overwhelming amount to edit and look back at, and it's like every time I open my laptop. All right, so we nailed another one. Stomping these fools! Oh my gosh. Um, that's a little overwhelming. There's a huge tower to try and get to. Do you think we can handle it? Probably not. And now to, we've got our Spaceman Wizard against a Leprechaun Wizard. I don't really know. I like it. They're cool little characters. And I like that they don't speak in real words. They just speak in... I like characters like that. They don't get annoying. You know what I mean? They don't bother you with uh, annoying dialogue. They just go... Like the best of all time is Banjo-Kazooie. They don't even hardly make sound. It's literally just like, and then like <laughs> you press X to skip forward. And I don't know why they did this, but I love it now. Like you press X to skip forward, and the uh, oh whoa, oh, get that balloon out of there! What the? Great. I hate balloons. You would press X to skip ahead, and like the voices would just play faster. Like, oh man. Oh. <laughs> Last second there, I tried to go balls to the wall. Didn't work out, but I tried. And, uh, you know, all you can do is try. Or at least that's what all of your grade school teachers told you. In reality, that is not the truth. I, if this rain, I don't know, dudes, if you can hear the rain. If the rain picks up on the mic, ooh, I'm not going to be happy. I'm going to be real salty. But, uh, show sure enough, as soon as I decide to start recording it, it's like, hey, you know what? I think we're gonna storm right now. Haven't been storming at all this entire week. But now that you're ready to do something that you need sound, we're gonna go ahead and send a shower storm your way. Thunder. It's not even, doesn't even sound like real thunder. It actually just sounds like fart of thunder. Just to be annoying. Fart, I, I don't know what, I, what the fuck. Sometimes, dude, so you get on these late night gaming, oh, <laughs> and just weird, it just gets weird, but it's fine. We're all a little weird, right? With our fart thunder. All right, on to the next one. Boom, got a trophy, love it. Uh, okay, so we've got the apprentice trials. Maybe that's where we'll get to see some verses. I don't know. Oh no. This looks really not fun. Like, at all. 
This one's gonna take some time for sure. Okay, did some research. Also double checked and the rain is picking up on the mic. So that really chaps my ass. But I'm not gonna quit playing because of that. I have to finish this game. I've only got two levels left, at least for this video. <laughs> um, we're gonna be, of course, doing nine and 10. And then we're gonna call it quits. First impression wise, I'm a fan of this game, for sure. And I will be playing more. Um, possibly going through the entire game. Let me know if you want to see the entire game. Let me know if you've got certain stuff you want to see. If you want to see me take on some online battles, I'd be more than happy to do that. I'll probably be doing it on my own anyways. Just let me know in the comments below. Um, that one was actually not that difficult. I uh, didn't do research when I said I did research. I just meant I tried it about four or five times and failed and then figured out what I had to do to uh, actually finish that round. Uh, this fog's not cool. Uh, like at all That's gonna make things a little difficult All right Frosty the wizard Okay, so the fog's gone, but that's gonna be the challenging part of this one All right got a lot of pieces left to stack. Oh, okay here. We've got that spade We're gonna want to try that out here Real soon, but I don't know I'm afraid to use it when I don't know what it does Oh, oh, okay, it makes a block that cannot fall. So that was actually a really good block to use it for. I inadvertently maximized the potential of that power up, power up. Okay, four pieces left. Oh, shit. Now it's getting tricky. Oh, windmill, great. Oh, piano. This guy's evil. Oh, door. Dang. Things are going real smooth there for a while. This is an evil Frosty the Wizard. Stupid fog. Go away, fog. Here's the thing. I'm struggling so bad with these rookie trials. And I think I'm going to go on and take on the apprentice trials. Better step your game up, Jeremy. For real. Alright, got that spade. Love that spade. Alright. I'm getting close. I'm getting nervous. You ever play Jenga? And you're like, at that point where you're like, so close. But. Also so far. No! You bastard. All right, oh no, no, it was supposed to nudge itself right in there. This is going horribly, there, that's it. And that's the game. Okay. Attempt number three. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that some of this is gonna get cut out. It may not, if you see it not get cut out, don't be mad at me. But uh, I can't just be dragging you dudes along, bringing you down with me on my long quest to conquer this 10th level, which we will do. This is going really good so far, actually. Got a nice, stable little area here. What? I'm not sure what that... Oh, that's what starts the fog. You mother... I hope... Oh, I nailed it. And I can kind of see... Yes. Perfect. Now I've got the spade. Try and use that spade effectively as we get down to the last six or seven pieces. I'm also getting a little impatient. I hope that it's not noticeable that I'm getting a little impatient. But I'm just gonna roll with it. Okay. Here. Oh, snap. Alright, last three pieces. These are the tricky, tricky ones. Giant windmill. Knew it. And the last piece, the piano. Hurry, get down there. Go, oh my God. Do not fall, please. Ooh, that was close, dudes. That was real, real close. Look at that tower. What a tricky tower. So there's our first 10 levels. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up here. We're not going for any world records. 
We're doing the first 10 levels. All right, dudes, let me know what you thought. Uh, let me know if you're playing Tricky Towers, of course, uh, if you're liking it, if the online, what you're thinking of the online battles, local battles, whatever, whatever, because I love couch club games. I just don't have anybody to play them with right now. And we'll see you in the next video, dudes.